Hey everybody, let's jump into another game of Risk. It is global domination, it is fixed, it is classic. I haven't really mixed it up at all. I'm in the last position here, which is actually a bit of a treat, and I like the initial spawn. This is a good way to start off the game. So let's see, hopefully we can get a good one. Here's all of the, the rules, world domination, expert AI, 90 second timer, fixed cards. It's just usual stuff, nothing too wild about it. And I like my spawn because I have the potential to get South America, I have the potential to get Europe, but most importantly, going last when you have a relatively safe position, that's the dream, because I'm gonna get some extra troops when my, because I go last, and we'll see how it plays out. Let's get to know what is going on. January Saka is the green player. It looks like he's going for Africa. I think that's fully reasonable. Let's try to figure out what Orange is doing. Possibly going for North America. This is Cuba Kid 32 Let's see, and you know what? Green, you're cool in my book. Why don't we make an alliance? All right, orange adds to North America, takes a place. I think that is a reasonable thing. Green has accepted, very cool. Up next will be pink. This is Peace in Valhalla. Who has accepted it? Wait, no, who accepted? Wait, what happened? Somebody offered me an alliance. Wait, did you offer me an alliance and then it got taken back? Wait, what happened there? I'm not sure what happened. I'm just gonna offer pink an alliance because I think maybe I somehow messed it up or something. We'll see, cool. Okay, so so pink is cool. I, I don't know if they tried to offer me an alliance and I accidentally clicked cancel like the second that they did it. If so, that's probably not the best start to making a friend. <laughs> I also missed where pink added. Okay, they're adding everywhere, a little bit everywhere. This is fixed, so we're not trying to like establish three different positions but pink adds there just to get a card i guess i think pink is like cautiously trying to go for australia but isn't really committed to it yet like because they put in but they maybe want to see what purple's gonna do and maybe purple davis bowball do you want australia of course you do of course you want australia yeah blast this two plug the seven in <laughs> yeah, get in there. Get in there. Why not? <laughs> that means these guys might start creeping this way. So if if green... Where does green want this seven to go? Green's got a lot of troops here. What does red want? Red wants South America. Okay, understand, understand. Why are you putting so many here, though? No, you want North America. Red wants North America. Nobody has even really touched South America or Europe. I got kind of my pick of the, the lot here. <laughs> um, so I might, and I think Orange is going to go for whatever I don't take. So I think Orange is going to go for South America if I add all of these guys to Europe. And I got a ton of people. How about an alliance? Absolutely. Smith Grigovich. I'm going to go for Europe. It's one of my favorite continents. I feel like the board has reasonable players. I don't know what purple and pink are doing, but I think everybody else is kind of reasonable. Um, just based on first turns alone. I am going to just get a card right here. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to get out of people's way. So I think orange, I think is actually trying to go in. I'm gonna get this guy out. Try to get these troops into Europe if I can. But it's kind of nice when you have options. <laughs> I can go for South America. I can go for Europe. And one of the, like, the best things to say about Europe, green hits a two. And a two. Okay, green, green has lost their mind. Green is going for Africa as soon as possible. They are, wow. My man, you're not ready to hold Africa. Holy cow. <laughs> what? All right, we'll see if anybody else has something to say about it. I quite clearly could say something to green. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, my man, that that was the optimal strat. But you might be lucky in that I might not do anything about it. Orange is gonna fight with red in North America. Interesting. Unless one of them decides to go for South America. And it feels like it should be orange trying to get to South America. But we'll see. We'll see what shakes up. So we got two wars on opposite ends of the world. On the one hand, Pink is going to try to hit. Go for it. Yeah, break him. Let Pink be the bad guy. No, Pink doesn't break. Okay. 
So green might be in luck. I could very easily start a war with green. So lucky. <laughs> I think you said you're so lucky pink didn't hit you. Is that the deal? All right. And purple is purple's about to just do some wild stuff. Loses three against the four. Six on a six. Okay. All right. All right. So lucky. Yeah. Pink may be not so happy about that. Pink may be regretting adding a few troops in. I would like to get... I need a mass. I need a conglomerate of troops. Because <laughs> somebody is going to go a little bit nutty. And then we got red and orange. I take back everything I said. They put me back in the noob lobby. Man, don't hit the three. <laughs> Why would you hit the three? Okay, you're just sending a signal. No, you're not sending a signal. You're sending a message. Get out of North America. But why are you fighting purple? Look, orange is also here. You're both trying to go for North America. So don't fight purple. Why would you hit three of purple? That makes literally no sense. That is like the most senseless thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, this four is probably not getting out. Uh, so I'm just going to grab my card here. And then I'm going to put the maximum number here so that orange can get into North America or you can do whatever you want to do. I'm chilling out. But why? Like, look, you're, if you're trying to get to North America, you're red. Orange is contesting you. Also, obviously, the obvious thing to do is get out of orange's way so that orange can get to South America. But if you don't recognize that, don't waste troops on purple when you should be wasting all of your troops on the guy that's fighting for your continent. All right, green does not even guard... Africa at all. Instead, he goes on a rampage in Asia. What is this about? What is that about? Oh, you're trying to... You have Africa, but I think you secretly... You want Australia. You want Australia. You're going nuts. Dude, you got Africa. Africa is better than Australia. It's worth three. That one's worth two. Add to Africa. You're lucky that you were able to keep it. All right, orange. Orange is just like calmly trying to get to South America and Red does not see it. <laughs> Red's like, uh-oh, I gotta fight this guy. But watch Red just hit Orange instead or something, man. Come on, figure it out. It's not, it's not that hard. This pink six is actually kind of funny because even if Red wants to get out of the way, like, how do you do it? Adds in here. What is pink? I don't know what you do anymore if you're pink. If you're pink, you're messed up. You are just messed up. Just try to survive in Asia for as long as you can and be unkillable. Now, the tough part is, even if pink becomes fully killable here somehow, I'm not ever going to be able to kill pink. I'm not going to be able to get to this seven. I got no way to get in there. I would have to run through Africa and then just blast into North America. That's never going to be worth it. Okay, so purple's getting out of the way. I don't know. Some line against pink could emerge. I would need these two out of my way. I need somebody to like set up a path for me against pink for the future. But red is gonna trap everybody in North America, aren't you? That's ridiculous. Why would you trap these 20 troops in here? Let them out. <laughs> They're trying to get, you're trapping them in and you're splitting. <laughs> we got a splitting Sammy in North America. I don't, 444, four, four. why would you trap orange in? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, let me get a giant group right in the middle for now. I'm just moving up so that, just showing, you know, good trust to green for now. I don't really care about the continent. I'm not going to try to get Europe quickly or anything at all. I'm trying to see if there's going to be a kill, which I think would be much more important. Green, again, does not even add to Africa and decides instead to lurk in Asia. <laughs> this is nuts. I don't have a turn in. Okay, okay. Are you blasting through? Okay, orange is going this way. You're never going to... This two is never making it through here. Orange, I don't know. If you're going for South America, you should somehow indicate to red, like, please let me through. I just, I'm, I could be out your way. Eliminating orange from Europe, though? Wait, taking Europe with the sneaky idea that then all of orange is trapped in North America is actually such like a sneaky play. I guess there's this down here. 
And I guess if I were orange and I'm going for South America, I would keep putting into South America to try to drive home the idea like South America is where I'm trying to be. Uh, purple is going to risk getting a card with these three stacks. Not 100%, but they do get it. And they're, they're chilling back here. They see green coming. Green is out producing them slightly. <laughs> I mean, green, green might be the one that I get to kill. I need to set myself up to be able to kill green and purple on the on the same shot here. I'm going to be coming down here. I'm going to have to split. Or maybe I'm going here and then taking all of green. Red is now... Wait, there was a large number there, right? What happened? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? You didn't lose anything. Red goes into South America. But then why are you splitting up here? Why are you splitting up there if that's your idea? <laughs> what is going on? All right, I will go here. I can tell that some wild stuff is about to happen. So I just calmly add here. And I'm thinking it's, I think green is about to smash into purple. Everybody's going to have like four cards. I do have a turn in now. The next turn is going to be the one where we try to see if there's, there's somebody worth killing. Does green turn in? No. No turn in and green is going to smash purple. Oh, man. <laughs> So green's down to 20 troops and is going to have five cards in their hands. All right. Purple has seven cards. Oh, man. To be able to kill purple <laughs> and, uh, and, and them. Oranges didn't really have a great way to get a kill on either one. But orange is going to kill red. This is like insanity mode. Literally everybody's killing everybody. Ooh, <laughs> he left me alone. He left me alone. He wanted to break green. Well, that's nice. There's a you do realize how many people have like a lot of cards in their hands, right? Oh my gosh. Is pink going to try to make a kill here? I mean, purple's got 7 troops and 4 cards. So I think, I mean, pink should kill purple. I mean, why would you, why would you not? And pink is back in the game. Pink had kind of a rough start. They turn in, they only get six, but if they kill purple, they get four more cards. We'll see what they come up with. Maybe they'll just do something wild. Okay, that looks like you're trying to kill purple. I, yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so pink makes the kill on purple. Very good, very good. Excellent, and now you get a forced turn in, and pink is going to end up with a reasonable amount of troops. They will not be able to kill green. I will. It's not like a straight-up kill on green. I'm going to have to do a lot of weird splitting. Oh, unless pink goes here and kind of guards the kill against me. Look, you're going to put all these down here, aren't you? Pink is going to guard the kill, but they have five cards. So I can't make the kill on green anymore. But like, what are what exactly are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing it like that? What? So I have a turn in, but I'm not killing anybody. Oh, pink. Unless I killed pink first. I got 30 troops though. Wow. And look, I know orange is the kind of guy that cracks you if you got a continent. So I'm not that worried about red at all. I am not worried. Look, this is just a wild, wild game. Here's how I think we play it. I think, I think what we do is we just make a big army and we don't take Europe. Because orange is going to kill red. <laughs> Green is turning in, and they're going to not not hurt me. I don't know where the troops are going. Maybe they're going into pink. Maybe they're going into me. I, we're kind of stalking these guys. We're just waiting for a kill. I mean, everyone else is doing all the hard work. I'm just going to make a giant mass in Ukraine. It seems like an amazing place to be. I can now strike any player. Ukraine is just such an amazing centralized piece. It's it's the E4 square of risk. <laughs> if you've ever played chess, this is just the middle of the board. 
and it gives you so much flexibility. All of your knights and bishops can go to all of the sides of the board. If I want to kill pink, boom, I got a shot on pink. I want to kill green, I come down here, I wipe them out, I go try to get green. Green is, is not happy with pink. If they get it on, I can fight either one of them. <laughs> If these guys decide to roll the dice, why would you not roll the dice? Eight on eight, you know you got it in you. You're not going to let them get five troops and strike you back, are you? You are. Put the 10 up there. Okay, come on. Wow, red is going to get the whole North America, which is mighty generous of, of this board. <laughs> if I want to kill red, though, too, I also have like a, a shot by going all the way through here and making a kill on red. Like, there's going to be some run all the way through, kill red, kill orange, kill green and purple, win the game on one move. This is definitely the kind of game where we just got to... Look how many more troops I have, and I haven't even been, like, trying to get a continent. Green is three cards, 14 troops. Yeah, get them, man. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about this 10 stack that's... Clearly not going to just ram straight into you on the next move. Yeah, don't worry about that. So I do not take Europe, like, for sure. The question is, do I kill anybody? I'm, like, I'm just kind of happy with the way things are going. Pink is going to... Pink has four cards. I'm just... I'm just happy enjoying the show. I don't need to kill anybody. They're doing... They're doing all the work for me. I'm just going to not ever take a continent and let these these guys destroy themselves. I think it's pretty easy. Red says attack orange. No, nah, that sounds like a you problem. And kills here are very easy. But literally everybody else is at war. Green and pink are at war. Red and orange are at war. I'm going to wait another turn. I don't have to do anything. I pass. I don't take the continent. I pass. I'm the troop leader because I'm not at war. Maybe neutral countries know what it's about. Just don't fight the wars. You won't you won't lose anything. And green doesn't have a turn in. I'll wait for someone to have five cards. <laughs> I could have easily killed pink on the last turn. I just don't want to ever be in the position where I'm seen as a threat, even though I very clearly am. I could kill any player at any time that I want. I'm the big dog here. And orange, I suspect, is about to smash into red. So let's just sit back and let that happen. It feels like I'm out of the way of orange. Not with a five. Why would, why would a five? Oh, I thought that 10 was going in. So orange is trying to make peace with red. I can't allow the board to, like, settle down and enter into a peaceful state. So if... You know, if red, like, chills out and doesn't fight against orange, then I better go for, like, one of them. I can't allow peace to happen. So if people are chilling out, then I'm ready to go sicko mode and take out somebody. Pink does turn in. Looks like they're not doing much, but put that nine down here, huh? How about you put that nine right here? Oh, you're just trying to survive. Okay, the world is entering into a peaceful mode, so maybe last turn was the time to strike. Okay, but maybe red is not done. <laughs> yeah, red is not done. This war against orange is not over. Four cards, 15 troops. And then I could strike red. All right. I take a lot of continents. So this is dangerous because now I'm suddenly going to be like pretty, uh, pretty big in the eyes of the world, I would suspect. I think suddenly I'm, I'm the monster that everybody will be like, wait a minute. Oh, I'm so lucky. No, I just stayed out of the way so that red didn't fight me, man. Don't worry, I'll take out red next, too. <laughs> That's the plan, at least. And then I'm just trying to dominate the world on this turn. Because I'm... I mean, red... You up next. We're trying to make a run here. Got to avenge my, my boy, Orange. We're going to end up... 
our alliance is over. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you do here in this situation to try to prevent me from killing you, but it's probably not breaking the alliance. Okay, I'm just having fun running through the world. All right, give me another turn in. Let me see if I can kill everybody on one turn. I don't think I've ever killed everybody on one turn before. Dude, I don't know, whatever. Do force me to turn in again. Yeah. Pink. Pink for two. I'd have to kill green. I have to kill green. I have to kill green. I don't know if I can, though. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I can't kill. I can't kill green? I have to kill green. Killing purple doesn't work. Shoot. Okay. I'm just coming back here. And we'll see who wants to fight me. People can take my continents and do whatever they want to do. I'm, like, basically strong enough to kill both of them. So maybe I, sh I could have kept attacking. I didn't think I'd be able to make the kill on pink. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. All right, cool. Pink, I think, is a reasonable player. They got mixed up with a bad opening. But I think both these players are now in a tight spot. And the reason you're in kind of a tight spot is that attacking me makes you my enemy and I can kill you. So I can kill green and they didn't turn in and they're going to have five cards, so I will. And so green is, green is trying to fight me. This will only work for green if pink helps. Now, if pink is my friend and they just sent me a heart, so maybe they are, and also green did all the bad work, pink might just settle for second place here. We will see. I think they're going to hit me once, and then they're going to go back. And they're going to be much more friendly to me than, uh, than our other our buddy here with green was. So they're not going to try to break me in South America. Oh, they are. Okay. So they're not happy with second place. Now I hate you both equally. You're both working against me, and I need to kill you both. Okay. Doesn't matter to me. However you want to slice it. So they're both my enemy. But green has more cards. So they're more set up to die first. Okay. Wait. This is not easy, though. How do I kill green? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to roll the dice here. Ooh. Okay, this is not an easy kill. I'm not sliding, because whatever. Because I'm going to have to... Okay, it's kind of risky. We're not sliding either. Maybe we should slide to make this not the worst thing experience ever. All right, but let's go here. Let's take this. We end green now. I'm not sliding because it's just annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm so strong I don't need to. I now have eight cards I turn in. I strike pink. They said something like, I don't know, good game or something. Oh, I double turn in. <sighs> I'd hate to be in your shoes. All right, let's just wipe out this. Good game, well played. Uh, let's put a bunch of people here. So regarding, there's no way they're breaking into North America. They have three cards. I don't know, maybe they turn in or something. But we swoop up pink on the next turn, and... I don't know, it was kind of a nice game. It was actually a bit complicated because there was probably some situations where I could have attacked them both a little bit earlier. I was kind of hoping for a situation where one of them just clearly didn't attack me. Pink is still trying, but you know, good luck. <laughs> um, but this was good enough and this was a relatively short game, like one of the quickest games I've ever played. So, yeah, I guess I'll be publishing this one. Now, let's get to know what they're rated. Pink, I think, was the highest rated of this group, and they happened to get second. But I don't think they were that high rated. I don't think there was any... I'm getting a text. I'm getting... Uh, I don't think there was anybody above... Nobody above intermediate. I would say that it's beginners and novices only. Let's check it out. No, okay. Orange was an intermediate. Pink was a beginner. Green was a novice. Novice, beginner. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right, subscribe.